Paul in Red Wing, Minnesota. And in parentheses, he says, yes, where they make the boots. Ha! Red Wing boots. I've seen the stores. Okay. Didn't even know it was a place. Uh, they're out there in Minnesota. I've got a question about integrating your air lens product into my system. Currently, a PS audio system consisting of a direct stream DAC, a BHK preamp, M700 monoblocks, driving a pair of Wilson Audio Sophia's and REL line arrays. Wow, it's a hell of a system. Essentially, my system is set up entirely around streaming. I'd like to now add the ability to access my digital file collection using a NAS, which is a network addressable storage. In other words, a hard drive you can put onto the network. Okay. Um, I'm looking, if I'm looking at this correctly, can I add the air lens and be less concerned with eliminating noise along the path upstream from that device? Yes. That's kind of what the air lens does. So the air lens is an interface between your DAC and the network, whether that network be your home network with a NAS, again, a hard drive that can be put onto the network and accessed from anything on the network, and maybe you put all your songs on there or your downloads, or from Cobuzz or Apple or Tidal, any of that out there in the internet world, the world of internet out there in the clouds, wherever that music comes from. All of that comes in, and what we don't want to do is tie that directly into our DAC. What we'd like is some kind of galvanic isolation between the network and our DAC, which is sensitive to noise, very sensitive to noise. And that's why the air lens exists. Now, there are plenty of streamers out there, but the vast majority of streamers I'm going to say 99% of the streamers are not isolated like an air lens is. And that's why we call it an air lens. We use air to isolate the, the signal. It, actually, inside, there's a little transmitter and receiver and no physical connection whatsoever. So when your DAC gets its data, there is no physical connection to the network. And that's what we call galvanic isolation. Well, we don't call it that. I mean, it's been that for years <laughs> where we correctly use the term galvanic isolation. Okay. So yeah, that would be a great way to go. It makes a heck of a difference and just keeps everything clean and nice. That's what the air lens does. All right.